So let's take a look at some of these new Windows 7 touch features up close with this multi-touch capacitive screen. The first thing that you'd expect is that of course you can zoom in and out by using a pinch gesture just like you can on an iPhone. It just uses the zoom feature of Windows Explorer that's already there. So I can just tap on this icon here to bring it back to normal size. If, you, if I pull up an image here you'll also see that we can zoom in and out on an image. And again, once it gets started it's pretty smooth and the scrolling's quite nice. We can also rotate an image. This is all natively built into Windows 7. The pen of course is proximity sensitive, it's a Wacom tablet pen. These are a new series of pens which has uh, two buttons on the pen. Um, so you can program the button for different functions. The bottom button at the moment is set to a right click and uh, the top button is actually set into a pan mode. Now a couple of applications that I wanted to show you just out of the Windows or the Microsoft Windows 7 touch pack. This one's called Collage and uh, it allows you to play with some of these multi-touch features. Dragging pictures around, adding new pictures to the page so that we can uh, make our own image. Now this is really just a gimmick and it helps you to uh, have a bit of a play with some of the multi-touch features. Um, if I drag from one end as you can see it will rotate around um, and that just shows you how nice the screen is and how smooth the experience can be in Windows 7. Um, obviously this technology was developed by the Microsoft Surface team and that's pretty cool. Another thing I've got here is the uh, virtual earth application again from the surface team and you can see again it's very responsive this is a really good tablet um, works very quickly and you can see here I'm just zooming in to where we are now here in Victoria in Australia and we can really turn things around so it's pretty cool One of the really nice features about touch, and I guess what it's really probably most useful for, is when you're surfing the web, you can use your finger to pan up and down web pages. So again, Windows 7 automatically knows that I'm using my finger, so it'll go into pan mode. So that really becomes quite useful. When you're browsing the web in portrait mode, and uh, you're perhaps reading a lot of content, where touch comes into its own is in actions. It's not really great as an input method, maybe for small, short input and basic input, and I'll look at that in a minute. But basically, if you just wanted to scroll up and down the page, or click on a link, for instance, the touch is really convenient. It means that you don't have to pick up the pen, and that's a real advantage of using touch screen. Now, I have to admit, as soon as I got hold of this machine, the first thing that I wanted to try was touch typing on the capacitive touch screen. Because it's multi-touch, it allows us to have multiple fingers on the keyboard at once. So I think that's a pretty cool feature. Now, as you, as you have this view here of the tablet, you'll see that the viewing angle of this screen is very good. It is a quality screen, um, and it has quite a reasonable outdoor viewability. I'm just going to pull up the keyboard here. Now, this is the Windows tablet PC input panel. It of course has the handwriting recognition mode, which doesn't really make a lot of sense with your finger, but uh, in particular the, um, the tablet input panel keyboard will make for some quite interesting work. So I'm going to have a go at touch typing. I've already made a few mistakes, so it takes a little bit of getting used to. I don't know if you can see that there, if I get the, the angle right, let's have a look, let's get up close. You can see that I made a couple of mistakes, but overall it wasn't too bad. Um, I don't know if you'd use it as a practical input method, and really on this tablet, since it is a convertible, you'd probably it'd probably be much easier to swivel it around and 
type this way using the full size keyboard but uh, it's good to know that you know the feature is there and that it does work uh, reasonably well and I guess for instance if you were just here in in, uh, in your web browser for instance and you just wanted to type in a web address it makes things fairly easy So I guess the answer is yes, you can touch type on, a, on the multi-touch keyboard in Windows 7 with a capacitive touch screen. Now of course, seeing that the Fujitsu has both a pen and a touch screen, now you will notice, if I just raise the lid of the tablet here a little bit, um, that when my hand touches the screen, the pen overrides the touch input so it doesn't interfere when I'm doing my handwriting recognition Windows 7 is really good at handwriting recognition what we found is that we're achieving between 35 and 40 words a minute using the tablet input panel with handwriting recognition which is a lot faster than a virtual keyboard anyway but um, although it's not quite as fast as typing on a physical keyboard, it is very fast, particularly for in input when you're mobile. And it's probably one of the best kept secrets in IT is the handwriting recognition capabilities in Windows. Um, Windows 7 makes it a lot easier to edit your handwriting as you go along. Um, you can see it's got the word wrong there and I can just choose a new word or uh, I can change a letter and the input is predictive so it's uh, it's really smart it's clever I can split words up I'll give that a go again Oops. and I can join words together so editing is really fast input is really fast and one of the beauties is I can write and I can write and I can write and I can just keep writing out paragraphs of information if I want to. Now I've got the, uh, the handwriting recognition panel sized up quite large which makes it a lot easier for me to input information but if I pull that back out I can resize it up as small as I want it to be and that will give me a lot more room for writing more at once I could write paragraphs out all at once using the tablet input panel and that allows you to edit as you go along before you insert the text. It's a very easy and quick method of input. It's a much faster alternative than using a virtual keyboard. And the beauty of Windows 7 too is it learns as you go along by watching your corrections. As I mentioned before, the pen is proximity sensitive. Now that makes a lot of sense in Windows in general because as you can see, as I move the the pen around, I can see where it's at without touching the screen. Touch can be a little bit difficult like that because if I hover my finger of course across the screen I'm getting no feedback. So for instance if I wanted to check the power level to see how much time is available left in the battery I have to actually click the icon and sometimes that doesn't give you the information that you need. Sometimes I might just want to hover over it and you can see the little tool tip there. Well, I can't get that with touch unfortunately because my finger won't allow it. I have to be tricky about it and, uh, and it just doesn't really work well. So that's why, particularly on a Windows tablet, an active digitizer and a multi-touch screen makes a lot of sense. It gives you the convenience of point and touch with the ability of the pen for fine control and input.